miss the taste of a sweeter life. I miss the conversations. I'm so hey guys, today I bring you this dramatic and uh, so pretty look inspired by Ashley Benson at I think it was the opening of what was it H&M in I want to say London that could be incorrect it was definitely H&M though and anyways I saw the picture of this and I thought it was so stunning actually and as I was putting it together I was like wow this is actually very similar to my Rihanna CFDA awards look I did about a month ago so yeah it's similar it's a little different but it's similar her this look is more focused on the lines like there's more defined socket line more liner on the top um black kind of rimming it so it's a little more liner a little less like smoked out um which actually i think makes it a little bit easier so i do like this look there's also a subtle hint of purple which makes it uh really make the eyes pop also i wanted to put out there that i am using mostly makeup geek today not all but um mostly everything i had in makeup geek i did use that version of so yes that is what we are doing today if you would like to see this look please stay tuned and we're going to start with a gold base because um oh, i cannot see that well uh Ashley's look does have a gold undertone to the lid, so we're using Bold Gold by Maybelline. Mine is quite dried out, but if you just buy it, it won't be. So there's that. So I'm going to put that all over my lid. Okay, and then on to transition color. I do often do this before my lid color. This is the Creme Brute B. This is Creme Brulee by MAC, and we're using this because we just want some warmth in that crease. So run that through. I'm also going to pop that on my lower lash line and then buff both areas out. Pretty standard stuff. Okay, now onto my lid color to kind of keep with the Makeup Geek theme because I am trying to use mainly Makeup Geek today. This is um, Hipster by them. It's a somewhat sheer, like um, bronzy, mid-tone, gold, it's hard to describe type color. It's got a slight shimmer to it. But over that gold base, it should pull a little more gold, but like not completely. Start gold. working on our um, black in the look. So what I'm doing is taking a pencil this is L'Oreal's infallible pencil and what I'm going to do with that is lightly take it and I'm going to go along my upper lash line and then um, gently in the crease as you're doing that socket line is what I should say um, you kind of want to get an aim a little lower than you think you should because you're not you don't want it to go too far up so hopefully it will make more sense as I do it but just take small strokes and be very uh, light-handed with this Okay, so I know that looks pretty rough, but you'll see why I did kind of do it a little bit low. It's because we're going to be blending it out. But anyways, I'm going to repeat that over here, and then I will show you what I do. With she that. does have that blended out with a black, it would appear. I'm using, once again, my Makeup Peak. This is Corrupt. It is quite pigmented. So what you're going to want to do with this as you work with it is take the teeniest, teeniest bit and even though you haven't picked up much, you're going to tap it off like crazy. This is going to make it a long process because you are taking so little at once, but if you don't do it this way, you're going to get a mess. So I'm going to start working on the socket, and then I'm going to do the lash line after that, and I'll show you. I think I'm going to use a different brush for that. And this time as you do it, you are going directly into the socket. It's going to soften out that line, um, blow it up a little more, like upwards, um, and yeah. So, continue onwards. When the curtains call us the last of all the lights fade out and the sinners crawl, they dug your grave in the masquerade. Gonna go in with a little more creme brulee on my, um, blending brush and use that to soften out the line rather than just blending the black because that's going to make a mess this is going to kind of soften out the edges of the black and then you can blend this out 
Now in with that same black and an angled brush, I'm going to press this along my lash line. I'm not so much going to be, yeah, not so much going to be smudging this out because as you can see, we already have a lot of black going on. We don't need to make it go any further, but I just want to set it in place, um, clean up any edges on my line since I did use a pencil liner. Then I go in with a smaller a little lid brush and hipster once again, which is our lid color, and I'm going to reapply that. I'm kind of, as I'm applying it, heading upwards kind of into the socket instead of downwards because I don't want to cover up any of my eyeliner. I just want to um, kind of make sure that that color is quite visible. So this look is definitely something you could keep completely neutral, but what I thought made it kind of cool is that, um, at least to me it seemed, I might be wrong, but it seemed like there was a subtle purple undertone kind of on the edges of it, which kind of I think makes her eyes pop even more. Of course, she has incredible eyes, but we can only try. So this is Makeup Geek Unexpected. Um, it's, again, a matte transition color like creme brulee, but it is a purple color. So what I'm going to do with that, clean off my brush so it's not doesn't have any black on it, and then I'm going to blend it kind of above where creme brulee is. So this is going quite high, but it's just going to add a really pretty haze to the look. I keep putting my mirror in front of the camera. I'm hoping I haven't been doing that the whole time, but it's possible <laughs> that I have. Okay, and then similarly, to add some purple to the bottom, I am going to be using two more expensive products, so sorry about that. I didn't have anything comparatively like Makeup Geek or drugstore price for this, but I'm using um, Urban Decay's 24-7 liner in Rockstar. It's just a brownie toned plum. And I'm using that right along my lash line, and then I'm going to be smudging that out with Max Sketch. I do want it to be a warm purple because um, it didn't look cool down there. It almost looked black, but I, I just kind of got the impression that it was slightly purple. So these colors lean black enough that you're not going to get a purple look. It's just going to be something a little interesting. So doing that, and we already have that creme brulee down there, so it's going to help to blend this out a little. A few last little steps here. Her highlight doesn't look shimmery, so I'm taking Vanilla Bean by Makeup Geek. It's their matte, like, um, cream tone. So I'm going to take that on my waterline, or not my waterline, <laughs> my inner corner and my brow bone. And we can use this to kind of just make sure that the eyeshadow isn't going up too high. Like that. You can leave it as is if you desire, but she does ha definitely have the black liner on the inner waterline and tight line, and etc. Taking the same one as we used before, and what, with this, we're going to actually go all the way into the inner corner as well. So it's going to give you a very smoldering look. So I'm going to do that, and then the look will be. And then I'm going to go out camera, apply some mascara, and sh then show you the cheeks and lips. Blech, cannot talk. So moving on to the cheeks, um, I'm going in with my Hard Candy Trio thing in Third Wheel. It has oh, bronzer, blush, and highlight. You can use all three if you'd like. I am just going to be using this for blush today. And what I do with this is it's a shimmerier blush, so I like to mix a little of that matte bronzer in just to kind of get my desired finish. And it kind of is a peachy pink color, so ooh, I'm going to run that across my cheeks. You don't need any crazy blush with this look, obviously, but having some color on the cheeks is nice so you don't get washed out looking. Although I probably still look washed out looking because I'm sitting in front of a window. Natural light will do that to you. Now for the lips, again, I'm using quite a few different products, so sorry, it's just one of those looks where things just are look less complicated than they actually might be. So um, her lips do look like they're lined, so I will be using a pink liner today. This is NYX Sand Pink. I'll just go through what I'm using and then just do it. Look at my hand. This is ridiculous. Anyways, and then over top I'm using the NYC Expert Last Lipstick in Smooch, and I love this color. It's kind of perfect with the peachy pink. You could leave it at just these two products, but I'm going to top it with just a little bit of NYX Butter Gloss and Creme Brulee just to get that added gloss and like glamorous effect. So I am going to do that, and then that will be the finished look.
Okay, so that's my finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, be sure to like it below, subscribe to see more from me, and I will talk to you soon. Have a great day. Bye.